guys, I'm standing here with Roxanne Perez. Roxanne, I gotta tell you, you were the number one requested person mm. that people <laughs> wanted me to interview on Twitter, and this moment is finally happening. I feel like you should know that. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, when you came into WWE, instantly, you know, you had this fan base, and people were like, oh my God, we're so excited that she's going to be in WWE. Um, obviously, you've only been there now for a short period of time. What was the experience like getting hired by the company? Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Um, so obviously I was still uh, with another company um, and uh, I got the call from William Regal actually and was like, hey, we heard what happened. We want to bring you in for a tryout. And I literally like my heart dropped and I was like, no way, this is not real. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, like of course, definitely. I would love to go. Um, so I went, I did my tryout in uh, December. So that was like a, a full blown out tryout. It was in Orlando at the PC and there was like 50 people. Um, I didn't get chosen from that tryout. So I got invited to like a three week tryout in February. Um, and that was pretty brutal because I was at the PC from like 7 or 8 a.m. to like 8 p.m. every single day and we're just like training and they're basically just trying to like break you down to see like are you gonna quit or not and I was like yeah I'm not gonna quit <laughs> like this is my dream uh, so yeah it was uh, it was kind of a long process but honestly like I'm so glad that I got that second child because like it was just, I met so many like great people there and I just learned so much and like learned so much about myself too. And uh, now I'm finally here. So yeah, it was all worth it. <laughs> you know, you mentioned this moment where this was your second tryout. You know, after that first tryout, when that didn't happen for you, when you know your dream was basically told, not right now, uh, you know, how did you manage going from, okay, this didn't happen now, but you know, and then working your way up to the second tryout and then finally getting hired. What was that period like in between to, you know, mentally to keep yourself going, to keep chasing your dream? Yeah. So actually, like when they called me for the first tryout, they were like, hey, so you didn't get signed from this tryout, but we're going to bring you back soon for a three week tryout. So it's basically like a second tryout, like an extended tryout, basically. Um, so I was like, OK. And obviously there was like like kind of like doubts and whatnot and like thinking like, oh, like, well, what was it that I didn't do or like what was it that I need to do to get hired that I didn't do right that first time? Um, but honestly, it just like, it just, maybe like the first try, I was just so nervous, you know, like this is like a lifelong dream of mine. I've been dreaming of it since I was 10 years old. So um, I don't know, maybe the nerves got to me and I wasn't as out there as I would have liked to be um, and so, the second child, I was like, okay, I'm not holding back at all. Like, this is literally like once in a lifetime, I guess like second in a lifetime. <laughs> um, but I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna put it all out there. I'm not gonna have any regrets. And that's what I did. And they told me yes. <laughs> oh my God, and I'm so happy for you because it worked. And obviously you already had, you know, those fans from your run in the independence and all yeah. of that. But to finally get that moment for that yes, I'm sure it must have meant a lot. And now obviously, you know, you're taking part in NXT and girl, you have been killing it <laughs> on NXT. Uh, what has the experience been like to be part of this, you know, new version of NXT? NXT 2.0 have been uh, you know working under Shawn Michaels and you know getting to do everything you've done so far winning the NXT breakout tournament and just you know winning gold all of that good stuff oh, I feel like it's so surreal honestly still like I still have moments almost like every day I'm like driving to the PC and I'm like wait like I'm a WWE superstar this is crazy <laughs> um, but yeah I still feel like a little kid every single day that I go to work and like I feel like everything has been happening so fast but I feel like everything happens the way it's meant to happen so um, and then it's so cool getting to work with Shawn Michaels like uh, Literally the first time that I met him, I was like a little kid and I was like, oh my God, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's so cool. He's awesome. He's like helped me so much. And then, you know, like Matt Bloom, he's like our head coach there and he's been so awesome. And just like the environment there and all the girls that I get to work with, I get to work with some of the girls that I knew from the Indies, like Indy Hartwell, Cora Jade. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool. That's really awesome. And I do want to ask you about that, too, because obviously, you know, you're surrounded more by the newer talent and whatnot. But uh, have you gotten any advice from some of the, you know, the, the women, the women on the main roster, uh, anything like that? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've met a couple of the, of the girls from the main roster, and they're all, literally all of them are so nice. They're always like so open to giving advice and whatnot. Um, I do remember like my extended tryout. Um, Bianca Belo Belair was there, and uh, I asked her for some advice. And uh, honestly, her advice really stuck with me because, like I said, it was the second tryout, and I had like some some thoughts like oh what what did I do wrong and uh she's basically the one that told me like hey like don't be embarrassed like don't be embarrassed to just go out there and if you have if you have a thought in your head and you think it's too crazy like just do it um she basically said like just just leave it all out there no regrets and that's exactly what I did and like yeah I feel like I don't even know if she realized it, but that helped me like so, so much. <laughs> yeah. I think so too, and I think that's really great advice that Bianca yeah. gave you. And obviously, you know, she's literally killing it at WrestleMania. Yeah. So if you're gonna take advice <laughs> from anybody, it, it, it should be Bianca Belair <laughs> yeah. for sure. But here's the thing too that I want to talk about is, you know, your time in NXT, uh, you know, having won, you know, like I mentioned, gold and also winning the NXT uh, Women's Breakout Tournament. The fact that you were allowed, given these opportunities, or, you know, earned these opportunities and whatnot, were you surprised by the fact that they saw you and and that they believed in you enough to not only you know have you do those things, but you're also one of the biggest storylines going right now in NXT 2.0 with yourself and Cora Jade. Yeah, like I said, it's crazy. It's it's surreal because um, like I'm only 20, um, so like I I have done like a lot in my wrestling career, but like it's it's just so surreal to me because I would have never thought that. When I was younger, I always knew, like, okay, I'm going to be a WWE superstar. And, like, there was no, like, ifs, ands, or buts about it. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, but I never thought that, like, I would be friggin' NXT Women's Tag Team Champion within, like, four months. Um, so, yeah, it honestly, like, it just, I don't know, it just feels like my, my love for WWE and this business and, like, it just makes like little 10 year old me so, so happy because I'm proud because like, I just never would have thought that all of this would be happening so, so fast, but I'm thankful. <laughs> oh my God. And just like even hearing you say, like, obviously I know that you're young, but just hearing you say that you're <laughs> only 20, I'm like, oh my God, she's just, she's just a baby. She's growing. There's so much that's going to be happening with yeah. you, which is honestly something to be very, very excited about and all of that. And uh, I do want to ask you too, because, you know, you talk about this being your lifelong dream and it finally happening. So how do you feel your life has changed um, since becoming a WWE superstar? Um, I mean, I'm like a million miles away from home. Uh, so like, I guess it's like kind of the first time that I've actually been away from like my family. Um, so yeah, that's been a big change. Um, but I guess it's been a little easier. My boyfriend moved with me. So like, uh, yeah, the change has been a little bit easier. But uh, the schedule too, like it's so crazy because we're at the PC like every single day, like working out, training. Um, and then every other weekend we have like live events, which uh, I love that because I used to be on the road every weekend for independent shows, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I guess like the schedule is it's crazy, but I love it. It's fun. <laughs> that is so cool, man. I'm so excited for you. And my last question to you is short-term and long-term goals. What are we looking at? Uh, um, well, obviously, WrestleMania. <laughs> that's like the biggest goal of mine. Um, so who knows? Maybe this year, maybe next year. I mean, yeah, maybe next year, maybe the following year. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like, like I said, everything's happening so fast and like the universe is freaking crazy. So who knows what's going to happen like next month or the following or I don't know. <laughs> well, you're doing, you're doing things right, Roxanne. Thank you so much for chatting with me here today. It was lovely to talk to you, to get to like finally like meet I you know, in person too. I know. <laughs> so awesome. Well, Roxanne, thank you so much for chatting with me and I'll let you go enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you.